Hey guys, I'm Nishant and I like to train dogs and in this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can train your dog the right way. Things may not always go as planned, but then again, training a dog is not as easy as it sounds. So with all that said, let me welcome you guys to the dog training series with Nishant. Hey guys, welcome to another video of the dog training series with Nishant. So in today's video, we're going to be dealing with how you can teach your dog to let go of something. Now, this is very important, especially when you're playing fetch or even tug of war or when you want your dog to let go of something which is, which is there in his mouth, which is quite dangerous for him. As you can see guys, we have Sheru with us again and Sheru is a dog who has a high pulling drive as you can already see. He's not letting go of it. Teaching let go is very important, especially for aggressive breeds like GSDs and uh, Rottweilers and stuff because they really like to latch on to something and not let go. So having a let go in your arsenal would be really handy in many cases. So one common mistake I see everyone doing while you know trying to get their dog to let go of something is they try to give a treat or they try to forcibly you know uh, let go of the dog's grip from whatever they're holding by you know probably holding their mouth and pulling it out or something like that. But the key to getting your dog to let go of something actually lies in just creating a boring atmosphere for them and making whatever they're holding as boring as possible. So. What I mean by this is, all you have to do is, see, the dog is enjoying the pull that I am, you know, generating here, the force. Once this stops, he's automatically going to get bored and going to leave this. So, let me just demonstrate it to you guys. So, I'm going to stop pulling it. I'm going to stop pulling it. I'm going to stop pulling it. I've stopped. You can see that it's still. It's still. And there is no pull from my side. He's trying to pull it. And in time, he's going to lose his patience and he's going to let go. Let me just show you guys what will happen. As you can see, see, he's already, he's already loosening the grip over it. He's already loosened it completely. There's no pull from the dog. So yeah, initially when you start teaching them, they are going to try and pull again and again. But all you have to do is not pull at all. Make it as boring as possible. You want to make it as loose and boring as possible. What I want you guys to do is, the minute he lets go of the toy, you want to give the toy back to him. So that is his reward for leaving. You can't reward him with a treat. Right now the dog actually wants the toy. So the minute he listens to you and lets go of the toy, you want to leave the toy and give it back to him. As you can see guys, it's a little hard to get through to Shero because he has a high pulling drive. No. So you want to walk with him wherever he goes and make sure it's as loose as possible. It's as loose as possible. He is, he is. Eventually, eventually you're gonna find success. Don't, don't, don't force it over there. Let him leave it on his own. Leave Shero. Leave. You wanna move along with the dog. You wanna move along with the dog so that there is lesser tension on the dog toy. He is gonna let go. They are gonna let go. Don't, don't, just don't get along in the play. Just don't involve in the play. Come on guys, you got this. As you can, good boy, Shero. Good boy, good boy. Here, take it. Good boy. Did you see that? The minute he lets go of it, you're supposed to say yes and give the toy back to him. So he knows. So as you keep doing this, it's going to, uh, you know, put the thought in his head that every time I leave it, I'm going to get it back. So he's going to start letting. So in this way, he's going to start letting go of anything that he has in his mouth. Let's try it again. The dog can pull how much ever he wants. Make sure you guys don't pull. Make it as boring as possible. You can walk closer to the dog so that he doesn't feel any pull, guys. He's getting a hang of it. Leave. Cheru, leave. Good boy. Go get it. Good boy. Did you see that? He let go of it. The, bo the more boring you let the toy be, he's going to get bored of it. And the more you keep pulling it, you see this? His drive is only going to increase. He's not going to let go of it for sure. See? His drive is only going to increase. But then, the minute you keep it soft, he knows. See, he's not pulling now. He stopped pulling. The dog can pull however much ever he wants and for however long he wants. But we should make sure that we don't pull the tug toy. Good boy! Did you see that? The minute he loses his grip, I give it back to him now. Good boy! 
Good boy, Seru. Good boy. You want to encourage him? Okay. So you guys basically need to practice this every time. You know, do it like twice or thrice every day, and then you're gonna have a beautiful let go out of your dog. And this is really gonna help you guys in many cases. So let's see if we can do the same thing with the ball, guys. Okay, guys. So let's try the same thing with the ball. Let's try. Good boy. Let's try to make Sheru leave the ball. Come take it. Good boy. Leave Sheru. So all you guys want to do is instead of see if you try to pull the dog. From, Pull the ball from the dog's mouth. He's not going to let go of it. So what I really want you guys to do is stop pulling the ball and just keep your hand below them. Let it be as soft as possible. Sheru, leave, leave. And the minute he leaves the ball, you want it. You want to give it back to him. Don't pull it. Don't pull it. Make it as boring as possible. Make it as still as possible. You don't want to pull it from your side. Good boy, Sheru. Sheru, yeah, take it. Come here. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Come. Good boy. So you want to build the trust by giving the ball back to the dog. See, he's gonna probably leave it because he knows you're gonna give it back to him. Okay. And then you want to again take it again. He's gonna give it this time because Sheru, come here. Sheru, come here. Because he has trust in you that he's gonna get the ball back. Good boy, Sheru. Did you see that? He dropped it. Ready? Good boy. Go get it. Good boy, Sheru. Can you give it back to me? Come and give it back to me. Eh? Leave, Sheru. Leave. Good boy, Sheru. Come here, Sheru. Come here. Come here. Sheru, come here. Leave it to me. Leave it. So slowly, you want to start introducing the word "leave" also. Sheru, come here. Good boy. Did you see that? He just dropped it right in front of me. Come, take it. Come. Good boy, Sheru. Come here. Leave it. Sheru, come here. Sheru, come. Leave. Good boy. Did you see that? He has trust in me right now. Go get it. Good boy, Sheru. Good boy. Did you see that? He's dropping it. He's already figured this out as a game. Good boy. Leave it. Did you see that? Did you see that? So there is a trust that's built, right? So Sheru right now knows that Nishant is going to give him the ball. No matter what happens, so he has the trust. He's gonna let it go. So another thing I want to tell you guys is, if your dog or puppy is holding on to something that is foreign or you don't want them to have it in their mouth, please don't run after them. Because by running after them, it is eventually going to be a running and catching game for your dog. Okay, and he is going to run away from you the more closer you're running towards your dog. Okay, so you wanna stay there and not chase him. Keep the environment. calm and i will show you guys how to get your dog to come towards you while we are teaching him to play fetch or while when i'm teaching him to you know come towards me okay but then yeah this is one thing i really don't want you guys to do while teaching your dog to let go i think that basically brings us to the end of today's video and uh, this is how you teach your dog to let go of something and right after a perfect let go you can move on to start teaching your dog a decent game of fetch which i will be showing you guys in the future videos so stay tuned guys please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know down in the comment section if you were able to teach your dog to let go or your puppy to let go and i'll catch you guys in the next video